We're here in Cannes. Uh, I'm from uh, Audience Science. We're partnered with The Drum. Uh, I think it's a real exciting year this year. I think uh, programmatic is starting to grow. Uh, lots of folks are starting to talk about uh, data and media and, and, and how to use data in the creative process. All right, and we're here chatting with marketers, with agencies, uh, and other technology companies and partners. I think what's really exciting about, uh, about our digital sector today uh, and the things that are going on within both the technology side as well as the creative side is I think you're finally starting to see a confluence between both. All right. So, you know, in the past, you know, we've always had this sort of separation in uh, advertising, right? The creative guys are over here, or let's come up with something that, that's visual, that, that resonates with folks. And then you have the analytics guys over here that are looking at spreadsheets, trying to figure out, you know, what's working versus what's not working. I think the beauty of programmatic and the beauty of today is that, A, there's an almost unlimited supply of data, right? And not only that, but there's an almost unlimited amount of computer processing power, right? And so when you have that, uh, what you have is you're, you're able to target your audience at scale, right, with the right message. I think, uh, you know, th there is no more line between creative and uh, data, right? In fact, uh, I think from, the, from what we're seeing in chatting with a number of different uh, agencies and, uh, and, and marketers is that the, the, the data uh, is becoming more and more uh, prevalent, easy to understand, and can affect how you do creative, right? It makes you smarter on the creative side. And you could do it in, the, in, in, in a real-time way. So I have four kids, and uh, my kids uh, consume media a heck of a lot differently than I do, right? And so when you see what's happening, right, if you're a CPG, if you're an auto, you're gonna have to reach your consumer everywhere, right? So they're gonna be on their laptop, they're gonna be on their mobile, they're gonna be on their desktop, they may watch TV. Uh, I think what's, what's really interesting today is that eventually everything is going to become addressable. Right? So when you look at the global digital marketing today, it's probably about 100, 120 billion US dollars. Uh, once everything becomes addressable, once you add TV, that becomes a 500 billion dollar market. Right? So, so th it's, 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 almost, it's, it's almost as if we're, we're, we're entering sort of the holy grail of uh, marketing. Right? So we're, we're, we're getting to a point where you'll be able to reach your consumer, wherever your consumer may be. Right. To me, that's the exciting thing that's, that, that's going on, not just today, but uh, as we look at next year, as we look at the following year, I think everything being addressable is going to be the next, the next big thing. I think what, 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 what we're seeing is that, uh, is that it is a global economy. Right? It, it is a, when, when you look at uh, big multinational companies, uh, they are not just looking at things with a U.S. lens or a U.K. lens or an or a Asia lens. They're looking at things with a global lens, right? Because I travel a lot. Right? So if you're going to target me in the United States versus UK versus China, you're going to probably have to put a different message. But you're going to have to understand and know whether I'm going to be in the UK or China or the US. Uh, so the message is global. Right? And, and when you look at you know, just the way the, uh, the population is changing, just the way the, the middle class is changing, um, while the US and the UK may be the biggest markets today for many multinationals, uh, probably China, Asia, Brazil will probably be their biggest markets tomorrow. Uh, and for that, you're going you're gonna to have to understand not only your global audience, but you're going to have to understand the local differences, right? So, so you're going to have to do both. Yesterday, we did our panel with Stephen Lepetak and Karen Boswell talking about the future of VR.